This is the age of globalization. Globalization has covered all the world at present. Dr. Soros, one of the capitalists, has written a book about 21st century capitalism. He described 21st century capitalism as footloose capitalism. It, it is crypto capitalism. Some uh, people say it is a pseudo capitalism. And uh, the basis of this globalization or so called financial capitalism is individualism. So it is true that uh, because of this effort of making one market of the whole world, finance or wealth is increasing everywhere, no doubt of it. But because of that, capitalism is increasing and labor is being affected in large measure. Because after Marx, the labor got prominence in the world and even capitalism was affected by that. They had to adopt welfare schemes or welfareism everywhere in America, in Europe, in, in England, everywhere. That. But now there is no restriction as such. Now the financial capitalism is completely dependent on investment, investment of capitalism. And the capital, uh, capital got all, all the prominence they required. So because of that, the investment got so important that the labor laws in all the countries have been changed and they are affecting labor in large manner. Take an example of America. Joseph Stiglitz, one of the greatest economists in the world now, who is a Nobel laureate, he described this capitalism as creating large inequality. You know that many economists have written recently on inequality. Thomas uh, Piketty has written, Joseph Stiglitz, uh, Dr. Amartya Sen, everybody has written about um, inequality, even Anderson has written about it. And they say that financial capitalism creates large inequality. Um, one um, thinker has said in so many words that globalization creates inequality. It um, uh, increases poverty in large me measure and it increases even pollution everywhere. So the effect of globalization is increase in disparity, increase in unemployment and increase in pollution. Why the globalization overshadowed the world at present? Because there was large measure of capital in America, surplus capitalism, and they wanted to um, uh, wanted space to invest their capital. So they created the idea of globalization, of having one market of the world, international market, and uh, they tried for that. And because of that, the idea of globalization um, has covered all the world at present. So it is a very difficult thing. Uh, even in um, um, India, the then government of Narsingh Rao, whose finance minister was Dr. Manmohan Singh. Of course, Dr. Manmohan Singh was one of the greatest economists in the world. Uh, probably you know that 
and he was first class first in London School of Economics. So as an economist, he was a wonderful person, very uh, great uh, economist, no doubt of it. But he adopted the idea of globalization and did away with the Hiru's socialism and uh, he uh, um, changed all the labor laws at the cost of labor, gave all the prominence and incentive to capital as such and financial capitalism has occurred in India affecting the lives of labor, affecting the lives of uh, agriculturists because financial capitalism is uh, working for capital only and they didn't, uh, um, uh, they didn't want agriculture to go. In fact, they want, uh, want land to be given to capitalists as such for their um, uh, capital investment. So, as, as you are quite aware that India, a large number of agriculturists, they committed suicide because of their um, problems in the agriculture. Um, government is taking away their land. Government is um, um, at the cost of agriculture is uh, um, lowering the prices of agricultural products. And because of that, in India, up till now, um, 350,000 um, agriculturists have committed suicide. So there is a havoc everywhere in the world. Um, um, it, it is a uh, survey of various uh, institutions that large scale inequality is increasing everywhere in America, in England, in all, all the world. Or uh, one study has mentioned that the wealth or assets of eight, if only eight percent is so much that uh, it is equal to the wealth of um, half of the world population, that is uh, 350, uh, 350 crores of people, uh, this balance between the two, on one side eight uh, people, corporate world, uh, and on the other uh, side 350 crores of people. So inequality is increasing in that manner. Even in India, 58% of the wealth is just in the uh, three cor uh, corporate magnets. So, this uh, kind of inequality is increasing everywhere and all the governments all over the world, they are giving prominence to capital only, to investment and to cater that investment, they are changing all the labor laws at the cost of labor. So, this uh, situation is there and there are now reactions have started all over the world. Uh, even in America, Joseph Stiglitz said that uh, the wealth of the America has been concentrated in the hands of 1% only. So there is a movement, 1% against 99%. That movement was going on there. And uh, some people named that uh, uh, movement as uh, Occupy the Wall Street. That was the uh, name given by many people over there. So it's, there is a fight against inequality. There is a fight on behalf of the labor, um, against unemployment, against pollution. So that fight is going on everywhere.